Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you some summer trends that are coming your way this summer. 2021. I will link a few items below that I talk about and if you find yourself liking this video will you do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and in return for the low low price of free I will give you a picture of this incredible cute sloth because sloths are cute and I've always wanted to have one as a pet. So let's get started on the summer trends of 2021. One of the cutest trends I of this whole list, I'm just gonna start with that one, that I really like, and it's a bathing suit trend, but it's to have a matching sarong with your bathing suit. So obviously sarongs are nothing new. I mean, people wear them every year, but this is a specific sarong that matches your bathing suit. So let's say you have a printed top and a printed bottom. Well, the sarong would be short probably, and it would also be a print that matches your printed bathing suit. Not every swimwear company is doing this, but I feel like it's a really cute idea. And the way you could do it if you have a swimsuit and you don't really have a sarong that exactly matches it, is just get a sarong in the color of your swimsuit and you can still pull this off. I never did a shoe trends video for spring and summer 2021, but this would definitely have been in it if I would have done it. So I'm just gonna mention it here for summer, but those puffy slides they don't even have to be slides, but it's got like that pillowy, puffy kind of top. And I forget which designer brought them out and kind of made them really popular, but those are really huge right now. And so of course you can find the really nice ones. You can go all the way down and get some knockoffs, but those are really cute. I will definitely link some in the below in the description that I think are really, really cute. I have another shoe coming up that I'm not into at all, but I'm going to share it here just in case you are. Another swimwear trend, <laughs> and I think it's actually pretty clever. Um, I well, I can't do it for sure. I can't even do it when I'm not pregnant, but it's to wear your bathing suit, your triangle top bathing suit upside down. It looks really cute on people, but this is obviously for people who don't need any support in their bikini top. So that's great. I'm not one of those people at all. I feel like this is something you could definitely try and just kind of like change up the look a little bit. Sunglasses are one of those things that, you know, I really feel like you have to find one that fits you, your face, your personality, but yellow tinted sunglasses are kind of a thing right now. I don't know personally if they actually do the job of sunglasses and shield your eyes from the sun. And if this is something that interests you, you know, maybe it's just a fashion statement. You wear them during the day. Maybe you wear them when you're out eating somewhere. That's where I can picture it. I can picture somebody wearing these at some outdoor cafe that's pretty shaded, but they're wearing these yellow tinted sunglasses as a fashion statement. I feel like that would be the ideal scenario. So if you have that scenario coming up in your life, there you go, yellow tinted sunglasses. This next trend is very wearable and I feel like it's one of those things that we didn't really see coming, but it's definitely a spring trend and it's going on into summer trend and it may even be a fall trend, but it's knit polos. And so knit polos have kind of become a little bit of a trend. They're a very wearable item and so they're not ever like out of style, like such a crazy style that it looks super dated when it's not in style, but they have picked up some momentum and so you're gonna find them in a lot of stores now. You can get them in really soft colors, but this is one of the more wearable summer trends. And obviously for summer, you'd probably have to get something that's either shorter sleeve or just something that's really lightweight so you're not gonna sweat in it. But this is definitely a cute one to try and very wearable. This next trend I've mentioned in another video of the worst trends of 2021 for the sole reason that I'm just jealous. And that trend is backless dresses. Backless dresses, I feel like they're so pretty. Like if you can wear a backless dress, you should do it girl. Do your backless dress, it looks so good. I can't do it, I just can't, I can't do the no bra thing. The pasties, they don't work, it's just, it's not for me. It just, unfortunately, just, the, things are not gonna work out in that arena in my life. I'm okay with it, you do it. You do it and just be beautiful in your backless dress. Hopefully we're all well aware now that low rise jeans have decided to come back. They're not coming back in my world. <laughs> I can tell you that, but they are coming back. And so along with that um, has been these stringy tops. Luckily, we're not seeing a ton of them yet paired with low rise jeans, at least not in the non-model world, but these 
tops, I'm actually not even talking about jeans, but the top that I'm talking about that's on trend are the ones that are cropped, but they have a lot of strings coming below. And when I say it, it sounds strange, but the pictures are gonna show you what it looks like. And I actually really like this. If I had the stomach for it and I had the abs, not even abs, but if I just wasn't pregnant, <laughs> then maybe I would give this a try with just a high-waisted pant, maybe just a little bit of skin showing. And then I really love this next one. It's another one that I can probably never wear unless I get a boob job or something, but I love it. I really do. And so if you can wear this, maybe it'll resonate with you, but those scrunchy tops, they're ruched in the front and usually they're very, very strappy on the back. So you can only wear like pasties or just no bra at all. And I love these paired with a wide leg bottom, like something really conservative on the bottom. I'm sure we're going to see some people wearing them with like really short denim shorts. I don't like that look. I feel like that kind of looks trashy or cheap or whatever. I mean, it's also like just not my generation at this point, but I do love those tops and I feel like they can look really classy and really cute with a more conservative bottom. This next trend is kind of an early 2000s trend, maybe late 90s, and I do not like it, but I'm gonna share it with you. And you tell me if you like it. If you like it, that's fine. I just don't like it because it reminds me of like high school or college or something, but those chunky flip-flops that have the chunky soles or the chunky slides. I believe Steve Madden had the first one come out in like 1999 or something or 2000. They're back and I don't personally like them. They're very much back. You can choose to wear it or not. It's up to you, obviously, all of this is. But, uh, but yeah, it's a trend. It's a summer trend, it's kind of a spring trend. This next trend is one that's starting to come back. And I don't even know if it'll really be back for summer, but I'm just gonna mention it here because I do think we will be talking about it a lot more in like the fall, closer to 2022. I can't even believe I just said that. But anyway, long necklaces are starting to come back. I don't particularly like long necklaces, as I've said in a video I think I did a while back, but when you have a larger bust and you're wearing a long necklace, it just sits there and just hits you in the chest and it, it just, it makes no sense. It doesn't work for people with a larger bust. But I do see how this is a really good trend, especially layered with other necklaces that are shorter. I do love that look. I think that's really pretty. And so they are kind of starting to come back. We may see some of them this summer. Um, so, you know, just keep that on your radar. Obviously in summertime, we get brighter colors, you know, um, and obviously all, neutrals are always really good for summertime as well. But in particular, the colors that I have seen kind of be standing out for the color trends um, have been that light blue, like cerulean blue, uh, pastel blue. Rust has actually been a color I've seen a lot of, and it's going to be a color for summer and even in swimwear. And I, I really like it. I just, I think I've said that in another video. I really like rust in like the spring and summer. And also orange, like bright fluorescent orange. You can find a lot of orange right now. It's just a really good color. I do kind of feel like it looks a little bit better on warmer or neutral skin tones, but usually in the summertime, people start getting a little bit more tan. And so they can still wear orange, even if they're more of a cool tone. So I really love orange. I really think it's pretty and it's an interesting color and you should try it. So that's it for my summer trends video. I hope you liked it. I hope you will be able to partake in some of these trends over the summer. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any in here that you actually like. I don't really resonate with a ton of these trends for summer. The spring trends, there's a lot that I resonate with. Maybe not so much for summer, probably because I just really, I'm very pregnant and I just can't wear a lot of them. So it really has nothing to do with whether I like it or not. I just can't wear them. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you did not. Consider subscribing and I will see you next time.